Hey guys, it's Postbox Part. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today I want to be talking about the topic of fire in Fortnite Battle Royale. So we've got to a stage now where we are waiting for season eight to be released. There's so many theories and leaks and news going around, but something which has came to my attention today just from a bunch of tweets I've been receiving is the topic of fire. So the first thing that I like to do is just take a little look at the Snowfall skin, the Prisoner skin, so you guys can actually check out the stage four version of the fire so just take a little look at it in general it's an interesting skin you can edit the style have a little look at it and he's just a very cool and very different design so one thing to note pretty obvious this guys is originally he was frozen and then over the next few weeks we obviously revealed his full fire element which was absolutely awesome for the prisoner skin that is unchained and out to restore balance an interesting quote we have right there so one thing that really brought this to my attention was donald mustard's location change on his twitter and he's actually changed his location to roaming free and at the top of his kind of banner on twitter he's actually put the prisoner skin up there which is really awesome i'll have a screenshot of that on screen for you guys right now so you can check that out but if you haven't already guys remember to go and enter in my support credit code into your item shop code postbox part and then tweet me at postbox part or message me in my discord to let me know if you guys are supporting me and showing respect to the channel i'll be giving you guys shout outs as you can see on screen right now there are a bunch of shout outs popping for you guys so thank you to everybody who has been doing that i really do respect everybody who's been doing that it really does help me out as a youtuber to help me improve my equipment and set up i can't wait to bring some better videos to you guys over the next upcoming month when i've got some free time to actually purchase some of the better equipment it's going to be absolutely awesome for the channel and i can't wait so what else do we have we also have some interesting stuff to talk about regarding the fire event and stuff so with donald muster's location being changed to free roaming it kind of makes me think that he really is definitely talking about this prisoner skin you know it's got to be it's, with it being in the top of his banner surely it has to be the prisoner skin now when we take a look at the battle pass we don't really see much indicating the fire element and in the past battle passes have hinted stuff in the future i kind of look through this and i only really see the sunshine i see that this snowman's melting so there's a few things indicating it but nothing really major inside of this battle pass section maybe this crack shot loading screen i guess that kind of looks like fire but mainly that is probably going to be the tnt when it was added in the explosion the explosives but other than that i don't really see anything else in this battle pass which indicates that so i go to the banners now this is something that has been mentioned so many times on my channel in so many past videos i just thought i'd mention it again and on this banner section i talked about how the standard banners have indicated the fortnite storyline for a very long time for example we have the rocket event here we also have potentially other events which have appeared from this like the tornado there we've also had the cube element event which is on here somewhere the cube is just down here there we are and a few other things as well like the water maybe if it's going to be a flood and just other little things like the snowfall like the snow there just little things in it that could indicate something in the future viking symbol as well but one thing to note that i have really kind of picked up on is this crack symbol here which kind of may show that the ground is cracking and also this symbol up here of fire and water so these two are going to be a big part i think especially the fire part and it could be indicating that there's going to be something related to fire during season eight so this entire video is just themed around the idea of fire coming to fortnite battle royale so let's pop in to the replay mode and show you guys some stuff that way. We'll go around the map and show you guys a few things. But while that's loading up, I just want to put this screenshot on screen for you guys right now, which a lot of people have been sending me. So thank you for everybody who sent me this. But this is something about the mysterious light or the fire has gone out in the mountain in the distance. Now, if you guys remember, I didn't really cover it because I didn't really think much of it. I thought it was a texture glitch, but the light in the distance, which officially was a fire, has gone out. So I'll put a little like uh, screenshot of it on screen so you can see that again a little bit closer, but that light would potentially could have been indicating maybe something to do with the map achieving some sort of fire effect happening to it now in yesterday's video if you checked it out i did go and talk about the snowfall skin and how potentially he is going to predict or change really the fortnite universe and i didn't really focus too much on the idea of fire so 
that's another reason why I'm bringing it up today. But that light in the distance that we were talking about was actually located in that mountain somewhere over there. So not 100% sure exactly where that was, but it's somewhere located in that mountain in one of these mountain paths over here or something. And that's exactly what I'm trying to get out with today's video, talking about how that could have caused the Fire King slash Prisoner Skin to head over to his spot on the mountain and summon in a bunch of kind of like fire things that could potentially affect the map extremely bad. Anyway, moving on from this, moving to the actual leaks we've been getting with the map. Take a look at this screenshot on screen. A lot of people have been messaging me this from different people's streams and stuff. You know, some famous streamers like from FaZe and people like that have been streaming and the map has been glitching out with this. And this could indicate something that is going to take place at Wailing Woods regarding an event or some sort of fire that's going to happen in the Fortnite Battle Royale map. Now, the idea of fire actually coming to Fortnite, to me, just doesn't seem possible. When I say that, I mean in-game fire. So I don't mean like an event fire or something that's going to kind of like be temporary. I feel like the idea of fire being temporary is a high possibility. But I don't think that fire being permanent is a high possibility at all. So I feel like if Fortnite were to go and add fire in, it would only be for a short amount of time. For example, maybe a five or 10 minute event, you may see Wailing Woods get kind of like a spell casted that increases the heat at Wailing Woods, but doesn't create like a fire that's gonna burn the entire Wailing Woods. Hence why that screenshot of the map isn't 100% kind of burnt Wailing Woods. And I don't think Wailing Woods will probably get destroyed uh, straight away it possibly could in season eight but leading up to season eight regarding this map change that we're going to be getting to the shade of the well the color of whaling woods area kind of looks like it's been burnt or heated up i don't think that's going to burn down whaling woods itself now with the actual fire king obviously being the main person to initiate all of this I don't know why I keep calling him the Fire King. There's like three different names for him. The Snowfall Skin, the Prisoner Skin, the Fire King. I just don't know which one to call him. So if I call him any of them, I apologize, guys. It's just depending on the situation. That's what I call him. But, you know, he's really going to have a big impact on this area right here. With obviously changing the color of the floor or ground really around Wailing Woods to maybe a darker green slash brown color like this sort of color but more of like a burnt out color like something has happened so remember when we saw the snowfall or the snow was it the snowfall event do you want to class it as or maybe the ice king event where he summoned in the huge ice tornado I guess that's probably the same thing that's going to happen but with fire and he's probably just going to destroy part of Wailing Woods casting that and then maybe leading up to season eight then he goes and destroys the entire of Wailing Woods or the majority of Wailing Woods, should I say, and potentially could lead to the bunker being the main part of the storyline. Now, that idea was actually sent to me by a fan. Credit to them on screen right now. You can see the tweet that they've just sent me. It's an absolute awesome theory, and I really did like it. I read through it a few times and thought, you know what? This is actually a really good idea from for it's Ghost for FBR. So, that's his Twitter name. He's actually tweeted me this. And it's just a really awesome theory. I really did like the idea of it. And how there's going to be different point of interest at Wailing Woods. Because of the prisoner skin. And how the new tilted building will crumble. And it's just a really cool idea. And maybe even tomorrow Temple will have some changes to it. Which would make a perfect idea. I feel like Wailing Woods is one of the only locations that takes up a majority of the map. Which hasn't seen a change. Kind of this entire section that I'm flying over right now. Is still OG. Like all of this right here. Lonely Lodge, the camper van site, these, this tree pit here, the little cargo area, these trees here, Wailing Woods is an OG location. I talked about how possibly the most likely location for getting a map change will be located over at Haunted Hills and Junk at Junk Junction. But, you know, when thinking about it, the most OG location from the original update season one or the original release is the Wailing Woods and Lonely Lodge section. Now, there has been a few changes, obviously, to Wailing Woods. We've seen the bunker be added in, the secret bunker that's locked as well, and the main bunker that you can access with all the kind of lodges and teleporters, which definitely increased the landing like population at Wailing Woods. I like to land there now because, obviously, you've got all the bunkers, and still not many people do land there, so it's a pretty good spot to go to, and it's a lot of resources as well. So, generally, it's a really nice location, and you can even rotate into it from the block as well. And as this side of the map is probably my favorite side to land out of all of the sides of the map it's the most peaceful usually the blocks usually kind of fun as well because it's different every week and also there's a lot of other stuff going on i do miss risky reels but to be honest i'd sooner have the block because it's a new location every week and it's very enjoyable for me i know i just said that but i really do like landing the block because 
is different every single time and the gameplay there is going to be different every single week depending on the design and that's really awesome but that's not the idea of this video the idea of the fire coming so if the fire does get formed at whaling woods and does eventually destroy whaling woods during season eight i think it'll be like this back half that gets destroyed and we may even see or maybe even this front half from where i'm sat right now all the way to Tamata Temple and all this section around here, even the cargo containers could go, could be wiped and designed into a new area really. Downside with that, it would kind of all look similar, a little bit like what happened to Dusty Divot. You know, it took a huge chunk out of the map. It's almost like someone just have a bite out of the Fortnite universe and it's just kind of just dug underground like that and it's created what it has today with that pit that's in the ground. So the same sort of thing could happen potentially during season eight in this section over here because it's kind of OG stuff. And if they remove the cargo containers, I'm pretty sure people wouldn't be that bothered. And I also think if people wouldn't be that bothered if this half of Whaling Woods got removed. I feel like continuing the idea of the maze and stuff, obviously it's not a maze anymore. It used to be a really good maze, but continuing the idea of the bunkers and stuff and keeping the lodges would be really cool. And maybe even this lodge could be damaged and destroyed, like burnt out a little bit, but the teleporter still works. I feel like something like that would still be useful because them teleporters in Whaling Woods are very handy and are in very... Well, I really do enjoy that using them. They're very enjoyable to use and very fun. So, you know, you could potentially use them as well to still travel after the fire taking place in the Fortnite Battle Royale universe. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I just really wanted to dig deep into the idea of fire coming to the map. I just don't think that Fortnite will introduce a real-time fire thing. I think it'll be just be a real-time event. So when I say real-time fire, like something that's actually going to damage you over time, I don't think that's going to be possible. I just don't see them having a fire element in the map. Maybe we may see the cracks like burst fire through them a little bit and they may burn you and stuff and that could do like DPS over time. Uh, a little bit like I talked about the idea of Whaling Woods having kind of like a burnt sense to it. When you walk through Whaling Woods, you may take like one damage every five seconds. But I don't think they'll actually have the fire actually burn burning in game you know like when you light a campfire or something you see the fire i don't think we'll actually see that in game i think it'll just be little kind of elements and stuff nothing major because if they start doing stuff like that the frame rate and the processing power especially on some of these smaller consoles and mobile phones would definitely drop extremely and i know Fortnite won't want to do that so i guess that probably won't happen on them consoles slash devices I really do hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you guys would like to stay tuned for Fortnite content, Fortnite news, Fortnite theories, all that sort of stuff regarding map changes and anything related to the storyline, my channel is your number one reliable source on YouTube for that. I like to proudly say that because honestly, I produce reliable content, which really does help a lot of people out. So it'd be awesome if you guys could stay tuned for that by hitting that subscribe button. Even consider hitting a like on the video if you did enjoy it and comment down below what you think is going to happen for season eight. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And once again, this is Postbox Part. Signing out.